In this demonstration, we will take a look at how to insert a button into a Captivate project. A button is an interactive element that the user can click on the screen. You might use buttons to create simple quiz questions or to have the user select a particular path in a learning program. You can add a button with the default button style, a plain white rectangle, or import custom button images. You can size and position buttons on a slide. To add a button, open an Adobe Captivate project and select the slide to which you want to add the button. To add a button, click the Insert menu and then select Button. The new button dialog box appears. Use the tabs within the dialog box to edit the properties for the box. On the Button tab, enter the basic settings for the button. In the Button Type section, select the type of button. You can choose a text button, transparent button, or image button. Note that the settings below the Type field will change depending on what type of button you select. In this example, we will create a text button. Once we select the button type, we enter the button text into the appropriate field. The next section contains settings that control what happens if the user clicks the button. The On Success field specifies what should happen after a user clicks the button. You can select Continue, Go to Previous Slide, Go to Next Slide, Jump to Slide, Open URL or File, Open Other Project, Send Email to, Execute JavaScript, or No Action. The next section contains settings that control what happens if the user clicks outside the button area. The first field in this section indicates how many attempts the user is allowed when answering the question. The Infinite Attempts option is selected by default. To enter a specific number of attempts, clear the Infinite Attempts option. The After Last Attempt option specifies what should happen after the last attempt. This list contains the same options shown in the On Success drop-down list. The Set Shortcut Keys section allows you to select a key combination for users to press when submitting responses. The current shortcut is displayed to the left. For a button, this will typically read None, as the user is submitting their answer via a mouse click. The Options tab contains timing settings that are similar to those used with text captions. For more information on using these settings, refer to the demonstration called Creating a Text Caption. The Options section contains a series of checkboxes with various settings for the button. Please note that this includes Success, Failure, and Hint Captions. The Audio tab contains settings that allow you to record or import audio clips. These settings are the same as those found in the Text Caption dialog box. To keep score for the button, or coordinate the score with a learning management system, use the settings in the Reporting tab. For more information on how to use these settings, view the demonstration called Inserting a Click Box. The Size and Position tab contains settings that are similar to those used with text captions. For more information on using these settings, refer to the demonstration called Creating a Text Caption. Once you have entered all the settings for your button, click the OK button. The button is added to the slide. If needed, you can adjust the size and location of the button. For more information on working with buttons, consult the Captivate help system. This concludes the demonstration on inserting a button into a Captivate project.